Well, how's it going on the spotters? This is Maxwell McGee, and today I'm joined by Patrick Riley with Sega, and together we're going to take you guys on a magical journey through Virtual Fighter V Final Showdown. Isn't that right, Patrick? Absolutely. So, Patrick, I understand this game is already out in arcades in Japan. Is that correct? Yes. So, Final Showdown is the uh, third iteration of the Virtual Fighter V series in the arcades in Japan, okay. um, but it will be the, uh, the, the really the second major release of Virtual Fighter V in uh, the United States. So how does the console release of Final Showdown differ from the arcade version? Um, it's a pretty different game. Uh, so obviously it's still at the base, it's Virtual Fighter. The biggest difference is that um, this time it's going to be a digital release. So we're bringing it out on, uh, on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade uh, rather than a packaged game. Um, but uh, uh, there's, there's a lot that's really going into this release. Uh, first of all, Virtua Fighter is always uh, you know, renowned for its excellent balance. Mm -hmm. um, this time it's been through two more iterations in Japan of, of additional balancing. Another big change is there's two new fighters. One of those is a completely new fighter that's never been um, available in any console game, uh, John Kujo, who's a, a karate um, martial artist. Okay. And uh, he is uh, joined by Taka Arashi, who uh, actually made an the, appearance the in... The sumo wrestler, Yes, right? the, absolutely, the sumo wrestler that appeared in Virtua Fighter 3. So Patrick, can you give us a, a brief setup to what we're looking at right here? So actually, this is uh, it's one very cool thing here is that the footage that we're looking at here is not the arcade, but actually taken from the console version. This is the first time that we've shown the, the footage of the console version. So tell us, tell us a little bit more about the, the play style of the uh, karate user you mentioned earlier. So uh, a lot of people see pictures of John. He's uh, so as you can see here, he's uh, uh, kind of wearing a red, his by default a red uh, karate gi. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but I think a lot of people will be surprised actually how large he is. And uh, he just has these, as you can see, when when he's uh, putting out his moves here, he has he just has some very powerful karate moves. Well, before we move on, I wanted to ask you about why uh, you guys decided to go with a digital release for Final Showdown rather than a traditional retail box release. Well, um, so, you know, it's a, it's a complex question, but essentially what's great about a digital release is it allows us to, to reach more people at a cheaper price point. So one of the things that, that, uh, that we're working on that, I, that we also know is very important um, to the community is, is getting the game in front of people and letting them have a hands-on experience with the actual code. Um, uh, for example, we're having uh, monthly tournaments at Southtown Arcade here in San Francisco. Um, we are uh, having uh, a game at, we're showing the game at Final Round in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and we're also bringing the game to several major uh, fighting game, other fighting game events elsewhere. I want to know more about the training modes that will be available in Final Showdown. I remember Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution, I believe, had a very comprehensive set of not only like training practice modes, but modes that like taught you the fundamentals of how to play the game. Yes, you're exactly right, and that's exactly, um, lots, lots of fans loved what Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution did in their training mode, you know, that kind of just taught you the system, and, but also kind of taught you the, the intermediate moves and everything that you needed to know. Um, so uh, we are going to add, especially because we want to um, increase the number of people who are playing, you know, we are adding in a training mode um, to this time as well. Um, that will teach pe people the basics and also some kind of intermediate strings. Uh, some other things, if I may, uh, about the main game, some things that are different. Um, one of the things that, that you're seeing here, maybe in this fight between Takarashi and uh, John Kujo, is one of the new arenas. So um, in the past, Virtua Fighter 5 arenas have always been just square. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can see this arena is rectangular. And uh, as you can see in some of these, uh, the way that uh, Takarashi is fighting, the, being very close to the wall is allowing him to push his opponent into the wall and achieve an advantage quite quickly. So it has a pretty big effect on gameplay. And specifically with regards to arenas, we also have breakable fences that are persistent through rounds. So if you break the uh, fence in round two, then it's going to be down in, in round uh, three and four and five potentially, which will allow you to ring somebody out, which you couldn't before. So in addition to the, the, uh, the training mode stuff that we talked about, you guys also have a new online mode to announce. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to uh, be able to share this with everybody, but uh, when we originally announced the game, uh, we had said that there were no plans to have uh, support a room uh, of players, and uh, that was so at the time, but we really uh, heard everyone's feedback, feedback of the community, feedback of the Virtua Fighter fans, and fighting fans, and fighting game fans in general, and we have decided to uh, implement a room-based fighting system, so uh, you know that'll be possible. It'll, it'll support eight players. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some DLC content for Final Showdown. Can you uh, tease that for us a little bit? Yes, so um, we're not talking exactly um, 
the, the packages or anything like that, but there will be over 10,000 items that are going to be released in DLC for the game. Ridiculous. These are like character customization. Yes, right. and character customization. It's going to be a ridiculous, unprecedented amount of character customization. People have, will ne have never seen anything like this before. <laughs> so basically, we're taking just the, the massive amount of items that have been created for the arcade version over the past five, six years and rolling those all out as customizable items. So, you know, even if you meet another, uh, you know, Sarah or, or Lau or whoever, it's just going to... They're going to look completely, completely different. Completely different. And Patrick, before I cut you loose here, can you offer any cadence to the rumor of a Virtual Fighter Dead or Alive crossover game? Um, no, I can't really say it either, either way. Mum's the word yeah. then. All right, yep. fair enough, fair enough. Can you perhaps give us an idea of when Final Showdown will be available for download? And uh, on what platform? It, it, it still, the final date is still to be determined, but we're aiming for summer 2012. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Game looks like a ton of fun. All right.